Holly, you're up first. Okay, here we go. Number six, have you considered rattan? Mm. It's being called the LBD of interior designs, as in the little black dress. Uh, that's because rattan is timeless and it's classic. It brings an indoor vibe to your living room in the form of a cute little coffee table or the bedroom uh, with the addition of a little dresser. You don't want to overdo it though. One piece here and one piece there is more than enough. Otherwise, you're gonna look like one of the golden girls. <laughs> Uh, so but, that's not wicker. That's well, different. This is, well, we, rattan, this we did this story. Rattan, oh, yeah? rattan is a form of wicker. That's oh. right. Or wicker is a form of rattan. It's a weave. One of the uh, other. One yeah, of the other. You're absolutely but right. They, one is a weave of the other. Yeah, it's a fun little product to use. <laughs> they make great sofas if you can. <laughs> that's comfy. Yeah. Get one not, that's about 30, 40 years old. Kaboom. Not quiet sofas, no, no. but <laughs> nice sofas. <laughs> yeah. They're it's a perfect nice. sofa for you because you don't want anyone sitting no, or, yeah, or yeah, laying on it. You stay balanced on that yeah. thing. You're not going to lay down. You better not. <sighs> Number five, this might be the most inconvenient convenience store in the world. It hangs on the side of a cliff in China selling bottled water and snacks to climbers. According to China's CCTV media outlet, there is one worker stationed inside the box at any given time. In order for the worker to get there, they must climb 393 feet up the side of the cliff and they must also bring up items to replenish the store's supplies every morning. Employees try not to drink too many fluids while on duty because in order to take a bathroom break, oh they boy. must climb back down again. Uh, oh, oh, ah! that, that little ledge doesn't look too secure to mm, me. No. You know? All right, number four, if you use uh, bobby pins to secure your hair in place, you might be doing it wrong. Oh Most boy. people don't think about it. They just pop them in their hair, but pay attention to the grooves. They're intended to keep the bobby pins in place, so you should place them groove side down, right. and it should ah. be smooth side up, which right. I never knew. I always thought it was the use, other way. Do you use many of the bobby pins? Are those still a thing? You know what? Um, yeah. You do. Huh. yeah. I never do. Really? Oh, yeah. Now it's big with hairdos with oh, little yeah. pin-up things. Oh, Is yeah. that it? I haven't used them since I was huh. little. Yeah, you can like pull a little piece back and just shove it right in there. Just to, you know, I'll bring some for you, Robin. I know. I just I, I <laughs> did it when my kids were doing cheerleading and all that. You pin all yeah. that stuff up, and now I don't want to. Bobby pins. It seems like a young woman's game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I yeah. thought. Yeah. Eh, anyway. Okay, number three. <laughs> uh, cats. Sorry. Uh, they're smarter than you think. Ooh. A new study out of Ooh. Japan says cats understand and remember the names of their friends. Researchers from Kyoto University stuck the cats in front of a laptop and showed them pictures of other felines in their lives. And when they called the pictures by the wrong name, the cats stared longer because they were confused by the mismatch. They added pictures of humans and dog companions into the mix, and they got the same results. One cat didn't get through the exam, though. The study notes that she escaped the room, and they weren't able to get her back in. Huh. This seems, again, like you're trying to find something, and then you're doing some bogus yeah, research. It's a Not good thing Japan trust. has solved all its problems yeah. that they yeah, can go doing that. To this. I don't buy it. <laughs> all right. I wanna, I'm in the news <clears throat> business, so I'm yeah. not going to say that out loud. Okay. All right. Uh, number two, it's time to start thinking about the important things in life, like pool floats. We found some cool options online from Walmart to Target to Amazon, and they have um, the all-important whimsy factor, which is what you want. That's, that's number one, really, aside from staying afloat. From army tanks to angel wings, watermelons uh, to golf carts. Keep in mind, if you've got the standard above ground pool, you probably only need one of these. Yeah. Mm. But if you got <laughs> one of those big fancy in ground pools, yeah. Because you got a lot of money, you might need to pick up a few of these. And word of warning, the the ones, the big ones, you, you try and bring those to the beach. We made that mistake. <laughs> if you can't put your feet in the water. You're going to get tossed all over the place yeah. because it, it, you can drift out forever and you, yeah. you, cause you can't direct yourself. So you're yeah. sitting on some big whimsical, uh, mm. you know, flotation device. Next thing you know, you're in Indiana. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. So just yeah. warning on the beach with the waves. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Huh. 
All right, number one, back in the 80s, there was a kid's TV show called The Great Space Coaster. Oh, yeah. And part of the show included a segment called No Gnus is Good, Good Gnus, Gnus with Gary Gnu. Gnu. If you're over 40, you know it. How about Not over 60? particularly. I like to narrate TV Gnus, I think that's understood. Because when I do the TV Gnus, there's no Gnus, and that's good. No Gnus is good Gnus. No Gnus is good Gnus. You ain't got any blues if you ain't got any Gnus. Ha! I got a real Gnus for Gnus. There's nothing I don't know. But bad Gnus gets on my nerves, and so I let it go. Huh. No Gnus is good Gnus. So what's the update here? Is We're just, just whimsy. Ah. Wait, yeah. With as much as Channel 2 rotates through news anchors, you think Gary Gnu would have popped up at some point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he did, actually. For that might have been 93, yeah, 94. he didn't have the back I don't then, remember so. who was there then. You know what? Uh, yeah, you don't see many anchors wearing rocking the straw hats. No, well. That's pretty much enough. a barbershop yeah. quartet thing. They've tried yeah. everything at Channel 2. Maybe yeah. that's the thing that's missing. Straw hats. <laughs> straw. <laughs> Light a rose, I'm home again, rose. I'm <laughs> between the news. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, just an idea. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're looking at tensions that are between.